All right, so uh, in this old video, uh, we're gonna have a look at the experiences that Gemini is to have in terms of career and relationship for the upcoming week. And just uh, let me shuffle the cards. And the first thing that uh, we're gonna have a look at, it is the career experiences. So first card for Gemini in terms of career is going to be the Nine of uh, Pentacles followed by the Four of Swords here. Moving next we do have the Five of Cups and the last one that uh, Gemini is to have in terms of a career, that will be the Five of Swords. So it's quite an interesting one. Uh, so once again the cards for you guys. So those uh, those four now throughout this uh, throughout this particular week um it seems that concerns that you do have in term of career and mainly concerns that are stopping you of uh, developing yourself forward uh, are going to pretty much disappear for the time being though uh, or like i would say vanish okay and uh, by those obstacles or plights vanishing, you would have the chance to leap into further development uh, in terms of uh, establishing, you know, a business or in terms of attacking certain position in terms of job or in generally growing in term uh, in term of your career. Now, it will be important here not to be uh, rather meticulous uh, because you may lose yourself in the performance itself. Uh, what I mean is that a while uh, when uh, your, I don't know, when your manifestation is acceptable, you gotta leave it there instead of trying to perfectionalize it over and over again, because you are on the clock. That's why the reading is very interesting. Now, what I said at the start of the reading is that the plights and the concerns of yours and generally the setbacks are going to vanish but only for the duration of the week. Now, at the end of the week, they are going to return, all right? And that's why you are on the clock and you have to aim to do as much as you can throughout the week <clears throat> in terms of, uh, term of a future growth or a dedication and devotion to things that under normal circumstances you have been deprived of doing so because uh, you didn't have a green light or because you somebody stood in your way and etc etc and i'll take it like that say that your boss is gonna leave for a, a one week off and you get to do things that under normal circumstances your boss does not approve so it, it could very well play that way but also you can use that week itself to uh to think of a better strategy and better tactics of how to overcome those plights once they return and if you do spend time into that then you are going to reach a certain resolution now that resolution itself it doesn't look like that is going to be very honorable resolution if you will if you stand by the code of honor but it is going to be a, 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 a effective one and at that point it will depend on what you are willing how far you are willing to go in order to establish your achievements or you may think that honor stands above everything else and you prefer to be um, unsuccessful into those achievements not in the entirety of your career but just in the specific achievements but regain your uh, your honor and respect from the rest are uh, those who are looking uh, for a a job and for a career highly likely that they're going to have a very good opportunity throughout the week but that opportunity is going to be more needed to somebody else you may not know the person okay uh, it is just said that way for you it is just a matter of changing your job for somebody that's a matter of survival and you don't know that person but you still have better chance to take that place than the person who really needs it so it's very important i uh, hear throughout the week in terms of a career how you spread your resources and what you are willing to do in order to grow okay because the growth is yours but it will come with the price 
So that was uh, in term of uh, in term of your career. Now let me shuffle the cards and see what kind of experiences you're gonna have in term of a relationship. Right, so the first one in terms of relationship, that will be the Eight of Pentacles. Now, moving next, we do have the Page of Cups, followed by uh, the King of Pentacles. And now the last one here, that will be the Knights of Pentacles. Wow. Um, all right, so uh, by the looks of those cards... Well, by the looks of those cards uh, throughout uh, throughout the week itself, in terms of relationship, once again, it doesn't look like that uh, should you be completely single. Well, uh, truth be told, guy, this reading uh, refers to literally everybody. I mean, it relates with the same intensity to everybody because the reading could point that if you do aim for reconciliation the week itself, it will allow you to go for that okay if you do aim for somebody new that you want to be with uh, the week itself is going to be allow you to do uh, is going to allow you to do that if you do aim to consolidate your current relationship again the week will allow you to do that so pretty much it's a it's a pretty positive week in term of a relationship for you gemini where you uh, you are master of your own fate okay you are to forge your own fate as you can see here with this card that the person is forging their stability or their wealth, uh, their wealth, I'm sorry. But there are a few conditions, okay, under which that whole thing or th those conditions needs to be accomplished so that whole thing needs to develop. Now, the first condition that is that uh, you got to be uh, pretty um, keen, if I may express myself that way, into the minor details rather than uh, pretty much allowing things that you do not like to pretty much get by if you uh if you will and uh, that being said instead of uh, once again attending to the overview you should try to clear out the details uh of the behavior or of uh, or that are surrounding the relationship itself that may cause a severe issues moving forward into the future now the other condition here it is the condition of uh, the game of giving and taking because one relationship it is it is exactly that what i'm trying to say here it is that if you try to establish a relationship or if you try to improve your relationship regardless if that's going to be about the reconciliation or, or with somebody new regardless okay you need to receive a, a reciprocal attitude what i mean is that as soon as you try as soon as you start giving love you you are giving trust you know or you are giving attention that thing needs to happen the same way from the other side if it does not happen then that's not for you and you got to move to the next option available okay uh, nonetheless uh, at the end here uh, we do have an, an establishment with the uh, Knights of Pentacles because the card may refer to two things, either a, a spring type emotions, meaning like developing um, connection, like developing excitement, like developing love, if you will, or a jumping into the old branches of love, which relates to a reconciliation. And also by a spring feelings also may speak for a resuscitating of excitement and as well love into an existing relationship. So you do have a major chance to improve your relationship status status throughout the week but as they are all minor arcana okay it will solely depends entirely on you and you gotta fit with those criteria. Once again uh, attending to the minor details there okay and uh, standing tall and firm about your standpoint and how you want the things to be done and as well the reciprocal giving and taking you give you gotta take if you do only give give and give and give and give 
and you see nothing from the other side, then you gotta stop giving because it's not gonna come about. Uh, and uh, once you make your establishment here, okay, regardless of what that establishment is going to be all about, either uh, a relationship consolidation or reconciliation, okay, or a, a, an interaction, that is, things need to slow down um, I, and they need to go consistently moving forward without a ups and downs. Now, how that can happen? Well, by you planning your next move, but not just planning it with yourself, but planning it as well with the other person in the relationship. I mean, the other person needs to see that uh, they stand ground in it, okay? That they are taking part in your life and you, and thus you take part in their life as well. And thus you together are forming one cumulative life and you move on uh, moving forward with that life um, going through the ups and downs together. Uh, needless to say, uh, drama is something that you don't want to bring on, on the table. That is a, a no-go. It's pretty much the thing that will disintegrate everything. And also, uh, you pretty much need to, whenever you do action, some kind of an actions in terms of love or a some kind of, you know, attitude you give, uh, the, those things need to be supported with the determination in a sense of that you really need to look like you you want it okay like you are not indifferent that if it happens great but if it doesn't happen also that's irrelevant okay so that being said that this was your weekly title reading uh gemini hopefully you do enjoy it and you like it guys and uh, we may see each other next time until then bye